Hi, this is Vicky here from book to Quire. introduce you to the finest books and transformational ideas from world-class thinkers, experts and achievers. In one short video, you get to learn what others may take months, years or even a lifetime. This video is part of strategy series. The tools of strategic thinking are available for everyone to learn and benefit from. You don't need to be an MBA and you definitely don't need to wear a suit. Whether you're a business owner, student or working in a company, these skills will make you a better business thinker. Let's begin. How do competitors behave in an established industry? Well, they're locked in a fierce battle to win over the market as much as possible. More the competitors, more the bloodshed. Well, not literally. With too many people competing for the same price, the profitability of industry is always down because in a world of me too products, price is only hook you can use to attract consumer attention. But there's a limit to which a company can play on its prices as if it has to cover its costs and then hope to make some profit. Result, every competitor fighting works on bare minimum margins. This is what is called red ocean. So what is the way out? How do businesses survive this carnage? Is there a way to make profit at all? This is where blue ocean strategy comes in. Blue ocean symbolizes unexplored markets with huge potential for growth and profitability. Question is, how do companies save themselves from red oceans and move into blue oceans? Simple answer, there are three basic ways to create new markets and move away from bloody red ocean of competitors. First way is to offer a breakthrough solution for an industry's existing problem. If you just go back 100 years, in 1908, the United States had thousands of car manufacturers building custom-made cars, but the business was in a mess for everyone, with a lot of time taking inefficiencies in the process. This changed when Ford Motor Company introduced the Model T as the car for the masses. It only came in one color and one model, but it was reliable, durable, and affordable. With its automation, Car manufacturing became affordable and efficient, replacing horse-drawn carriages as the principal mode of transportation. Second way to move to a blue ocean is to redefine an industry's existing problem and solve it. Think Uber. What comes to mind? Nothing. We have become so used to it. Okay, next time try finding an offline taxi to understand the pain Uber has solved. Anytime, anywhere, at the touch of a button on your phone what a service it is. Important to note is that this is a value innovation and not a technology innovation. Uber did not create any new technology. It just used the existing technologies like smartphone, Google Maps and internet to solve a pain point for billions of riders. Third way is to identify and solve a brand new problem or seize a brand new opportunity. I'm sure you must have heard natural resources are depleting at an alarming rate due to our massive consumption spree. In case of fuel for our vehicles, what happens when we exhaust all the natural fuel of the world? Well, Tesla has already started mass manufacturing of their battery-run cars, solving for battery efficiency, enabling these cars to run for hundreds of kilometers before needing another charge. Result is 100 billion valuation for Tesla already. If being in the middle of killing competition is so bad for a business profitability, why don't companies choose to create new markets for growth? Million dollar question. Well, it's risky and involves trial and error. And in the majority of the cases, established companies are pretty bad with innovation. Business world is replete with examples of how new ventures almost always disrupt the incumbents. Here comes Blue Ocean strategy that can help companies to carve out a structured market creating process with innovations that customers value. The Blue Ocean shift process comprises of five systematic steps that minimize the randomness and trial and error in creating new markets. Step one, traditionally companies evaluate the strength of their offering portfolio by looking at market share and industry attractiveness. But both these factors are lagging indicators, which means these are the result of things companies have done in the past, but in the modern world of unprecedented pace of change, competitive landscape is changing all the time. So it is more suitable way to see your portfolio in terms of value it provides to customers and innovativeness. 
How do you do it? Categorize your products and services into three buckets, similar to competition, which is an imitator, better than competition, which is a settler or significantly better, which can be called a pioneer. A healthy business is to have a good mix of these categories and not be blindsided by existing market share with only imitators in its portfolio. Step two, understand where are you now? Do you have one simple picture that captures your overall strategy? Do you know which factors your industry competes on? Do you know which sets your product or service offering apart from competition? If you don't, then you need to have one page reference that tells you all these things. It's your strategy canvas. How to build one? Identify at least five key factors your industry competes on from buyer's point of view. Decide which key players to compare yourself with and finally rate your offering and the best in class competitors on these factors. As an example, make my trip, which is the leading travel platform of India. Let's say from the traveler's point of view, looking to buy a travel package, have some factors they evaluate it on. So they become most important benchmark for make my trip to compare with its competitors like Expedia and Booking.com. These could be price points from budget to luxury, flight and accommodation availability in chosen destinations, services like pick up and drop, post purchase support, finance options available, brand trustworthiness. Now rating itself on, on these factors versus the competitors will give make my trip one page strategy canvas. This is the usual of what is happening in the industry and almost always it reveals every competitor following the same path with minor differences on a factor or two. If a company wants to make a blue ocean shift, it has to create a distinct picture in the mind of consumer and not just do a little better or little worse on similar factors which everybody is competing on. Step three, imagine where you could be. To make the shift from what is to what could be, step three introduces the buyer utility map. This map breaks the buyer experience in stages it goes through on horizontal axis from discovery, purchase, use and post purchase experience and vertically the map also displays the major levers organizations can pull to provide greater utility for buyers like convenience, simplicity, design, saving time or money etc. This exercise helps to identify the unexplored spaces where value is trapped and waiting to be unlocked in each of the buyer experience stage across the company's levers. Uber is an excellent example of how using just a couple of touches gets you a ride without any hassle of follow up, directs a ride to you, deducts the payment automatically. This was maybe 10 times more easy than booking a traditional taxi which enabled Uber to disrupt the entire industry. In blue ocean shift process, pain points and boundaries are not constraints, they are opportunities. Step 4. Find how you get there. Businesses across the world are used to focusing on putting the customers first. But while framing the blue ocean shift, companies need to think of non-customers that unlock new demand which was not there. This is done by targeting customers who have similar needs but are not considering your offering. All the work on buyer utility map and strategy canvas will help you to identify how to do this. As an example, Trebo, with its founding principle of good rooms, good service, good price, is successfully targeting both the segments people looking for budget hotels or star hotels get clean rooms at good price without compromising on service quality of a star hotel. Step 5. Make your move. In the final step, you conduct a rapid market test to confirm the potential of new offering with actual prototype. This will allow you to understand the optimal way to position the offering to buyers and supply chain partners besides revealing any additional adjustments you might need to make. This was it for this video. Hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments below if you can think of any business making this shift from red to blue oceans. If you like this strategy summary, do share with someone who might like it as well. If you didn't like the video, please share any specific feedback for me to improve. And we will continue this quest to learn from the best. Till then, have fun and be limitless.